there are a lot of things to consider before choosing your next loan for the purchase of your home. Uh, number one, length of term. A lot of people don't know that there's a lot of other options besides 30-year terms, such as 20, 15, and even 10. And obviously, if you went with a lower term, uh, 10 or 15 years, for example, your payments would be higher. But if it's something that you can financially handle and you're able to pay off your mortgage faster, then it's a great way to cut back thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars in the long term. Secondly, interest rate. Uh, these will always fluctuate and you might be in a market right now where the rates are lower. Great time to shop around, especially even if you have a home and you're just thinking about refinancing. Uh, you might be able to roll into a lower interest rate and even a shorter term if this, if, it, if the numbers work out and make sense. Now that plays into number three, your future plans. If you only plan on staying at the home for another couple years, it may not make sense to refinance. Um, depending on the amount that you're paying and the interest involved. So you'll have to research and, and play around with the numbers and make sure that you're making the best choice. But if this is a new loan for you, you're moving into a home and you can get a low interest rate and a shorter term, uh, more power to you. It's a good way to pay off the loan faster and have less debt. And finally, number four, your financial situation. How much can you handle and what are you comfortable with doing? Especially in the event that maybe you lost a job or there was a a um, emergency, family emergency, something that came up where you weren't able to keep up those payments. Do you have money in savings and where would you be putting yourself in a very tight situation where you might go into default? Things to consider as well, but a lot of great ways to um, save money and really make out in the long run.